Hello and welcome to the 12th video in this beginner series making an application with Vue.js and Vuetify. So I'm starting directly off obviously from the last video where we've got at least a half reasonable looking table. Um, what I'd like to do in this video, um, you remember in the first video when I showed the finished app that we could click on a player and actually show in a dialog the graph of the various a graph of the attributes of that particular player. In this video I want us to open a dialogue. We'll deal later on with actually showing information inside it, but I want us to open a dialogue. And what we're going to do, if you go to uh, viewtifyjs.com uh, forward slash components forward slash dialogues, you'll get a whole page with all sorts of examples of dialogues. The one I want to use is the modal dialogue, where if I click on the button here, I can't close it by clicking outside. I have to click on one of the buttons for it to, to close. So I'm going to go into the code, the view source section of this modal dialog, and I'm going to take the whole of the dialog here, and then I'm going to paste that dialog uh, right at the, the bottom underneath the last view content before the pre, and oh my goodness, that's a right old mess. Save the code as it is here and have a little, little look back on the Beautify website what we've got. The first thing we've got inside is we've got a button here where the slot is called activator. Uh, if you read the API docs of this, what that basically means is if we click this button, then we will open the dialog. The key part of the dialog is the model here. So the way it works is if in, in our data component of our application, our view app, we've got a property called dialog in this case here. When that becomes true, the dialog will open. What we can then see down here is a button or two buttons, as we saw, the disagree and agree, which when we click those buttons, dialogue is set to false and the dialogue closes. Now you see this at click here, it's actually shorthand for v dash on colon click, which we've been using until now. And then we've got a little bit of a tricky part, especially to explain for beginners, but it's called a dot native. There's basically different handlers or specialist handlers for handling events inside view. And you can see in the documentation of view, uh, all the different um, ones that are available. The native essentially says that the root component um, of this dialog, so in our case would be just our view app, is listening to this event and it's listening to this event so that we can set then the dialog uh, on the root component to false. Now you can find descriptions of that in the Vue.js documentation. I've actually opened the page already here exactly where it is, but it's in components, binding native events to components. You can find it in the search. And essentially it says there may be times when you want to listen for a native event on the root element of a component. In these cases, you can use the dot .native modifier for von, for example. And then just above there, I had a look earlier, there's a an explanation, a bit more detail of, of how all this works. Now, if you're just beginning, then I wouldn't worry about this. I would just take the example text that's inside Vuetify and that's all you really need to do. So going back to our uh, HTML then, we do need to make a couple of changes. The first one is I don't actually want to open the dialog when I click a button like this. I want to do it when I click a table row. The other one is I'm just going to change this to player dialogue so that my model actually that uh, causes that governs the opening or closing of the dialogue is called player dialogue. And then in this button here, I'm going to change this to player dialogue and remove this uh, second button here. And here I'm just going to call this close on this button here. The other thing I'd like to do is actually change the style of that button a little bit. So I've got one up here where it's just uh, color is primary and that's it. So back down here, I'm going to change that color is primary. I'm going to remove the flat. I don't want a flat button, even though it was in the original dialogue. So we've got one of our nice blue buttons. And I'm going to leave the at on click dot native as it was and not use the V on. So you can see the, the shorthand. Remember this at click is exactly the same as the V on colon click that we see up here. It's just shorter. So again, the V model here is, uh, or the player dialogue uh, property is what will govern the opening or closing of our dialogue. So we need to add that then into our data here and we'll start off with false so that our dialogue isn't open when we start the application. And that should be all we need. The only thing is we need something. We need to be able to click a table row to actually open the dialogue. So the way we're going to do that, then we need to add a vion click into our table row here. So I'm just going to copy a vion click here from this toggle details here and paste this onto the end of our table row. And then what we actually want to do is we want to set our player dialog is equal to true. 
And that should be all we need to do, I'm hoping, to actually show our dialog uh, on our application page. So I'm just going to refresh here, empty cache, hard reload. Everything worked, it gave me a shock, my computer's slowing down. Click load data, let's load a, uh, a table, let's not load France because one of the pictures doesn't work, let's load Argentina. And now if I click on Higuain, I get my dialog appearing as you can see, and then I can click the close button to close the dialog. Click on another one, it opens up, click around, doesn't work, close, and it closes my dialog. Good then, so that's it then for this video. Um, obviously in future videos we're going to change the contents of the dialogue because it ends up being a graph but hopefully that's given you an idea a uh, basic idea of how the dialogues work and as i said on the um, Viewtify dialogues page in the components there are all sorts of different dialogues and functionality it's pretty well explained the api down the bottom here you can find the activator one that uh, i was talking about earlier um, and the various properties and things um, and all sorts of different apis here i quite like the modal one as the best example because it was the most simple one on this page so um, our video uh, the, our application is uh, up and running okay we're able to open a dialogue and then in the next video we can look at how we're actually going to pass then some information about the player we selected to our dialogue so that we can display uh, our graph later on. Thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.